Okay, yeah. who wants yeah. to explain to Brianna really? what you have to do once you have this? It's art time at Clarendon Elementary. And for Rosalie Reibel, it's her favorite class of the day. I go right in there. She is unassuming in nature, but she is a teacher's dream. It's always amazing when you get to have a student for six years and then you look back on all they've achieved and it's, it's so touching. And it's all the more impressive given her journey. August 18th, 2004, Rosalie Rival said hello to the world. Normal delivery, normal pregnancy, everything was just the way it was supposed to be according to the pediatrician. You know, I was just so excited to kind of start my life as a mother. But in the months that followed, her parents realized something was not right. What she presented with was this sort of lack of coordination, sort of um, dancing around instead of standing firm on her feet in what they call ataxia, which is sort of just like a lack of balance. Um, and it was very erratic. Rosie, right here, Rosie. This video was taken May 3rd, 2006, when Rosalie was 21 months old. Nine days later, doctors diagnosed her with medulloblastoma, a cancerous pediatric brain tumor. The CT scan was probably one of the worst experiences of my life. I kind of can't believe we even went through this because it was so hellish, you know, to hear a doctor say that we can extend her life, but she might not make it to kindergarten is just like the scariest, most god-awful thing anyone can ever tell you. Located in the fourth ventricle of the brain underneath the cerebellum, the tumor explained Rosalie's lack of coordination and balance. Doctors performed surgery to remove the tumor, followed by 18 months of chemotherapy and radiation. Babies on the bus go way, 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 all around the town. You're just so totally encapsulated in the moment of every single hour of this child's life because, um, because she's facing challenges that you yourself have never seen. Like, for example, she couldn't swallow. You just have to take care of your child in that moment. In June of 2008, just nine months after completing her treatment, Rosalie suffered a setback when the tumor recurred on her spine. After more chemotherapy and intense radiation, Rosalie is now cancer free. My friend says, you know, really heaven, this is heaven, right? And, and I really feel that way because every time that she has a clear scan, we think, oh my gosh, she's here. So it's, it's um, uh, you know, you sort of have that feeling of giddiness, of happiness, of like, uh, this is gonna be okay. These days, Rosalie continues to use a walker for her physical limitations. It's hard because there's um, backpacks in the way and I have to get over them using my walker. Also, it's really hard to get in, uh, to squeeze in the tight spaces. But it's easy to see why Clarendon is a good fit, a school where diversity is the new normal. I think that I felt like she would be part of the puzzle here, that she wouldn't be the sore thumb, you know? And I felt like she'd just be, you know, you know, it's silly, but like part of the whole rainbow. And, and, and I have felt that. I felt that there's lots of different kids here with different things going on. And yet the cruel reality of this story is the unknown, the uncertainty of Rosalie's future. Obviously, I hope for her to be happy and I hope for her to find independence. Um, and honestly, that's also my greatest fear for her is thinking long term, you know, like what will, how will she be able to do this independently? But through it all, Rosalie Reibel is a blessing, a gift to friends, to family, to strangers. Despite uh, all the challenges that she's faced with every day, getting out of bed, coming to school, she shows up happy and wanting to be here. And I think that just exudes from her 
and uh, with everybody that comes in contact with her. Everything that she does is something kind and, um, I mean, I know it's so many parents say this, that their kids teach them so much, but she's, she's sort of that person who makes you kind of press pause and you're kind of like, okay, this is what it's all about.